with this wheel and tire Ooh. combo that we just <laughs> slapped together. Goodness gracious. Dang, so What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad Garage, and today we're going to continue working on our 2022 Chevrolet 2500 High Country here. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we installed a lift kit and these nice wheels right here, these American Forces 24 by 14 right here. These suckers are super wide. We've never threw anything this wide on a truck right here, and I think it looks absolutely insane. Saying. Of course, there's some people that think otherwise, but you know what? We got something for you guys in today's video. But overall, everything has been pretty smooth with the lift kit. If you look underneath, we got some pretty crazy stuff installed there. This is one of the best lift kits, I think, for this truck right here. So we're super happy to finally test it out here in a little bit because previously we didn't install the torsion bars or the torsion key properly or something. So right now it's literally just nose diving, dude. Yeah, so I mean, I think we're going to have to pull them out. Hopefully we don't have to take off too much, yes, but man. I think we got to retorsion them. Exactly. So we're going to continue with this build right here because we already mentioned we got something super epic to announce with this truck right here. So you guys are just going to have to stay tuned. So right now, I think first things first, we're going to try to get it sitting properly. And then I think we're going to try to take it to the tent shop to tent the windows if possible, if it's available. If not, we're going to go to another shop. We're just going to go to a bunch of different shops and see if we can buy stuff for this truck to make it even more epic. So anyways, let's just go ahead and take apart a few things, hopefully get it sitting right and do the very first test drive. goodness guys check this sucker out we finally got this sucker lifted to the proper height after figuring out the issue and it was something super simple we actually had the torsion key from the previous lift and we actually found the original one luckily pops went to the house and he found it just scattered amongst a bunch of scrap metal we popped those suckers back in and look how level that sucker Dude, is sitting this right thing there. is sitting perfect right here the lift the wheels and tires man i gotta say i personally love this combo dude, dude. i do too but you know what there's a few things that need to get changed up this chrome right here needs to dude. get completely deleted 100 percent, dude we already got all the black badges right here we're probably gonna wrap that stuff put some uh stuff on the handles dude i'm telling you dude it's gonna change it dude, even more it's dude. gonna look even more aggressive all blacked out and right now what we got to focus on is actually getting the sucker fully aligned because we basically just did a good old eyeball alignment you hey, know what i mean we did pretty good on the eyeball alignment but you know what it's gonna need semi truck alignment after this that's dude. true we actually <laughs> got to take it to a place that aligns semi trucks uh, and i think it might be pretty difficult to actually find somebody around town but if we do you know what they're gonna get the sucker squared away and this sucker is gonna drive perfectly yeah 100 you know I mean, so that's the main thing is alignment right now and after alignment we're gonna run around town get gather a few more things for this build because well, this is gonna this is gonna be a sick build right hey, here. Hey, right dude. now it looks like a race truck and that's exactly what we're going for. But for the people that don't like race trucks, we got something for you guys as well. So let's go ahead, try to get this sucker aligned and pick up some stuff.
guys, so the first test drive was an absolute success. Our eyeball method alignment did amazing. I mean, this truck felt like OEM, even with the bigger wheels and tires and the width. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, it drove nothing out of the ordinary, dude. I'm Seriously, telling you, it's dude? amazing, dude. That lift is awesome, That is dude. awesome. So we do got some good laser beam eyes, I'm dude. I'm telling you, dude. And also the alignment shop that we went to, the semi-truck alignment shop said they couldn't do this truck because of how wide it is and they don't have the special like uh, lasers that like yeah. adapt to these tires and stuff like that. No big deal. We called around and found a shop for tomorrow. We'll take it there. They're going to align it. They're probably going to throw it on there and it's going to be zero, zero. It's all going to be straight, dude. I guarantee but who aligned it, dude? <laughs> but also we ran by a few other places, an accessory place, dude. dude. Yeah, because we got our eye on a possibly a bed cap on the back of that thing, like one of those camper tops. I think yes. that'll look super sick, like a black one to match the truck. Dude, what do you guys think? I mean, that would be epic. I mean, it's something that you can slap on there, turn it into a work truck, and take it off and take, then turn it into a show truck you got that right we're leaving on all the time it doesn't matter but i think that would be super cool and it'll be super cool with this wheel and tire Ooh. combo that we just <laughs> slapped together dude look at this dude, dude we had to pick up some of these tires because you guys some of you guys are like saying that like you guys didn't like those wheels so you know what you guys are building this truck so here it is dude, here we, it is. we got it for you we got it we got the we got the bubba style truck tire and wheel dude i'm telling you these are actually gonna look pretty good this lift kit is designed to fit 37s and right here we got some 37s dude. those are 33s those look super sick but dude 37s i don't know we'll dude, see you can switch from show truck to work truck Truck in a switch of a ugga dugga. A couple ugga duggas and you're good to go, dude. Dude, that is so <laughs> sick right there. Can't wait to test it out. Hopefully, all clears. Also, while we were at the accessory place, there was like um some nice LED lights. We're thinking maybe doing some strobe lights yeah. like, hidden like in a grill, nice and sleek. Yeah, they have some nice flush mount ones, like some amber like strobe lights. Because when you put these bubba tires on there and the camper top, it's a work truck. You want to go pull up, park on the side of the road, do whatever you gotta do, construction, it doesn't matter switch those lights on people will know dude, you're, you're that, there dude. that'd actually be super sick but right now i guess what we're gonna do is probably swap out to these and then there's a few things that we want to do with the emblems yeah right? the emblems so we got all of our emblems we went through them all so i say we throw these wheels and tires on snap off all those uh what are those chrome Chromies. uglies dude and put on <laughs> some black freshies dude I, I still like it but you know what i don't like it as much as the street setup no dude. i'm telling you man the street setup definitely looks a lot better the wider wheels and stuff like that but hey man here you go if, if, if we <laughs> want to work in the truck throw on the work tires and you're good to go i mean this thing was just sitting sitting higher bigger tires obviously it's pretty aggressive but the other setup i think that's just a little bit for me i know a lot of people like this setup I mean, it just looks like a kind of like a stock, stock just truck. lifted. Yeah, stock just with lifting. bigger tires and stuff like that. But dude, I mean, it, it does not look bad. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Definitely looks good. But you know what? This kind of goes with all the chrome little accents here and there. But you know what? We're about to get rid of all that chrome with some nice badges and just uh, completely black this sucker out. I think it'll still look good though. Even oh yeah, 100%. Even with those wheels and tires, as long as everything's blacked out, the truck is definitely going to stand out a lot better. Dude, dude. this is like a old Pawpaw <laughs> truck right yeah, here dude let's man. see from the back dude this is bubba truck right here <laughs> <laughs> wow dude i bet this thing is really capable though so this is definitely the more practical truck if you want to take it off road if you got to go to the farm or something work truck man i'm telling you man work truck and show truck you got two trucks in one honestly that's like, actually what we got on our hands right now dude, show and work dude. dude you got that right so whenever we want to do some work we'll throw these on but i say the show truck they'll go back come, on tomorrow definitely needs to come back on
This right here is what you call a show yes, truck right here, dude. Sir. We threw the wheels back on because you know, we couldn't have those mud boggers on there for too long. Looks super good. We got a couple rolling shots this morning, but I think this looks definitely a whole lot better. And plus it flows a lot better with all the black badges that we threw on. Look at this. Everything is basically chrome deleted. Even the trim down there, the trim up here, the door handles. Dude, this thing just flows now, Dude, man. looks way better with no dude. chrome at all. Even got that front badge all blacked out, dude. Yes. This thing is just unbelievable unstoppable right here man this is a showstopper right this here right dude. here is definitely a neck breaker showstopper and there is a few things that we still want to do to make it look even better we want to go ahead and tint this glass right here maybe do like a nice ceramic tint on that front windshield just that way the sun actually doesn't like jack up your dash over time it just you know protects I mean? the inside and you know it keeps dude. the sun out dude but this thing dude. is amazing all the way around all the way dude. around looking amazing although it's super filthy because it did rain and we had a couple little puddles here and there so it splashed up along the side but dude as far as the interior goes Dude, pretty much a brand new truck. Look at that interior, dude. dude. Minty fresh. Dude, I, I this, just can't believe how dude, it's clean still this brand is, new, dude. dude. Barely even uh, it's been sat in, dude. <laughs> barely been sat in. I don't think anybody sat in the back seat yet, dude. Dude, but you know what, guys? We got something super just epic to announce. And it's actually going to be on Friday. So we're going to skip Thursday's upload just one day. So you guys be patient. I think it's going to be well worth it. Can't wait to show you guys what's about to happen to this truck right here. It's going to be the craziest thing we've ever done. But as of right now, we're going to go ahead and probably just clean this sucker up, get it looking right, and then we'll probably call it a day. Alrighty guys, so we finally got the truck cleaned up and it is looking better than ever. But you know what? That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We're gonna give you guys a quick little update on the Lamborghini Urus. Apparently the key is actually on its way. It's in the mail. So maybe in the next video, you guys will see this sucker rumbling, fired up, and maybe we'll go do some test driving. And as for the Bronco, we finally got a call from the dealership that all the parts are at the dealership. So we can technically go ahead and start on this build right here. So that's the two builds that we got going on. As for the Porsche, I guess we're gonna go over the unfinished project. So we got the Urus, the Porsche GT2 RS, and also this right here. So we got three projects. That Urus is literally about done. The Porsche, we're waiting on a few little parts that are just pouring in across the country. But as for the Bronco, that's gonna be a quick rebuild and we're gonna make that sucker epic. But that's gonna be all guys. Definitely drop all your comments and suggestions down below about that truck right there. We might just throw on a few more epic things to it. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.